I'm Adam Rowe and I'm playing games, so it's Rowe playing games! Alright everybody, welcome back to story number three, and this time we're gonna play as probably my favorite character to play as, and favorite character personally wise, Peacock. Welcome back to Peacock, everybody. Whoa. Those eyeballs? Yes. Sounds like Christopher That's Lloyd. That's what I was thinking just now, too. <laughs> Great Scott! I didn't realize she had parasites. Yep, Avery and, uh, forget the other one. I just thought she was a robot. Extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. She's a, she was human. She's like more like a cyborg. Yeah. Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed. But with the proper theonite balance, I think we can... This is all a bunch of subjects. science the talk. Yeah. Argus, that's the other parasite. Avery and Argus. The also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength. He <laughs> sounds so much <laughs> like... He does. I wonder if that was intentional. Probably. We gotta go back to the peacock. She's watching <laughs> cartoons and smoking a cigar. There's a little bird. That's Avery. Oh. Is the bomb also one of the... That's not one of the parasites, that's a uh, little man. There's Fat Boy and Little Man <laughs> are bombs. They're named after real bombs. Yep. The bombs that blew up um, the Hiroshima, right? And Nagasaki, yeah. So I think they just, they just, uh, like, like did, they, no, they just did, like, the anniversary of that Oh, yes, yeah, right. So that pure story. Ooh. She was an orf mutilated orphan. Jeez. And now she's gonna have a nightmare. Oh my god! Who is that? You! Someone who gouged out her eyes. That sounds horrible. Hey! Hey, listen! <laughs> Zelda reference. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Oh, that in the background? Yeah. That's another one of her minions. She has like cartoon minions. Andy. Andy, Andy the anvil. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a shark. <laughs> what the hell's that thing they're at the all bottom? They're all minions. That's, that's Tommy, the one with the T. Oh. With blood. Watch this, this is funny. There's like fourth wall breaking here. <laughs> Hot 2D fighting. <laughs> There's a lot going on with this one. Also, I just noticed a picture of like an agonizing philia. Came up with that. Yeah. I like there was no build up to this particular fight. <laughs> it was just nonsense. Nope. Oh, that's oh sucks. she interrupted. I love that's her throw though. Cool looking character. Is that an anglerfish dude? He looks awesome. Yeah, the anglerfish dude. Yeah. yeah. And there's, a, a, there's like a dolphin guy next to him. Catwoman. That lady in the back right there is cool too. The one smoking. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually Alex Ahad, I think, is in this stage. The creator, the art director of the game. I think he's. He's a man in the suit. I think that's supposed to be him. That's like his deviant art OC. I think. Huh. You see, you gotta start like on DeviantArt. Didn't you say that like um quite a few of these uh, characters back here are like DeviantArt? OCs? Some of the some of the NPCs in the background were submitted by like DeviantArt artists as a contest. Oh, that's pretty cool. Because there there are a bunch of different OCs in this game. Look, there's Ryu in the background. That's this pretty punching cool. Punching bag. Looking a little rough. <laughs> I just realized that the uh, the punching bag has like a game grump space on. Oh yeah, yep. That's pretty cool. Speaking of like deviant art OCs and indie games, another game I'd really love to play on here is um, Freedom Planet. Oh yeah. Is it Freedom Planet or Planet Freedom? I think it's Freedom Planet. I think that one would be really cool. It's just, it's on Wii U and I don't have a Wii U. Is it just gonna be on Wii U? Or is it gonna be on all of the? I don't. I don't know if there's gonna be any like updated releases. I know. Uh, what is it? Um, I know like Bloodborne and Ukulele are gonna be like in all three. Yeah, get Bloodborne. Oh, you bloodstained? Blood stained? Um, blood stained. I mean, yeah, blood stained. <laughs> blood stained is a PS4 exclusive. Is it? Yep. I thought it was gonna be for all four. Nope. Dark Souls is though. 
I mean, blood, blood stain or blood <laughs> yeah. born? Blood stain. The one with uh, blood stain is gonna be for a bunch of stuff. Yeah, blood born is an exclusive. That's what I meant. Yeah, blood blood stain is gonna be on the Wii U and the Xbox too. So. Hey, maybe uh, maybe one day we can bring your Wii U over. Watch, and make I'm gonna try to do this move. Watch this. Okay. Not that. The pie move? No, the stuff that makes stuff fall. I think it's yep. The whole longer you hold the button, the bigger the object is, but they can cancel right. it. Right. So do a little see. one. Strip <laughs> of fish. I just want to beat the shit out of her now, man. It's funny because the biggest one is an elephant. That's cool. She's got you in a corner. That's okay, because you hit her with your peacock laser. <laughs> she is delightful. Yes. Terrifying, but delightful. There is a cutscene after this fight, I believe. What'd she say? I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a knuckle sandwich oh, today. That's a Popeye reference. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for see a if I can do the, burger today. Since you have to keep your distance from a uh, parasol, see if I can do the. Blow me down. <laughs> see if I can do the. Yep. Do it. <laughs> that's awesome. That even stays there for a bit. I do. Have, this game is gorgeous. I am. I'm in love with the animation style. I'm also excited for that. Um. That Metroidvania game they're making. I think it's called Indivisible, which is a weird title, yeah. but I know the main character looks a lot like Beowulf, and it's supposedly Norse myth. Based. Yeah, like the same art style and everything. Yeah, the main, they released an image of the main character. I don't know if they named him. I remember before you told me that it was going to be a I thought a, it was going to be a beat -em up but I guess... But I would, I would love to see these guys do a beat -em up But hey, I mean, like, Capcom did that. I mean, they got Street Fighter, and, um, what's theirs? Is that Streets of Rage? Uh, that's Sega. Uh, Final Fight is Capcom. Final Fight, okay. Up. One of my favorite beat em ups is the Scott Pilgrim game. I never played that, but I, I heard, heard it was great. great. I mean, we might be able to play that on the show. I don't yeah. know, um. I mean, I think it's like technically owned by Universal or something, but yeah. maybe we can get away with it. Skull Girls? How many? that's supposed to be a parody of something. I don't know. Annie was the girl in Beowulf story, though. Yeah. And there's a reference to Beowulf. Wait, that's a girl? Nah. <laughs> we should give him, like, the Rick and Morty voice. <laughs> hey! Oh! Oh, God! Peacock! You gotta... You gotta... <laughs> I haven't seen enough Rick and Morty to really do yeah, a good right. impression. It's hard. That, the voice is kind of hard. <laughs> you, you killed the Skull Girl, Peacock! What? Oh, shit. Oh, she looks so sad when she's crying. No! This is kind of a touching cutscene. Which way did they go? They fled to... Numerous. That's the city that this takes place in. Follow, but make sure the others are safe. I know you can uh -oh. protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skulker. Skulky? He's gone, boss. <laughs> he terrifies me. I love is her. Is she still like a young girl? Yeah, she's like 13. Oh, it okay. tells you all their ages in the site, and she's like 13. They knew each other. We gotta go back, back to Yarnum. You're nice. Like the what? Wow, she's throwing some shade. Oh, I like this repaint. Now kill it! Kill it dead! <laughs> Was that like a Yoshi's Island flutter she just did? Yeah. <laughs> How the pow? Peacock laser! And you were rabid in this one. <laughs> I love the Yoshi's Island flutter. That's when she made the noise like that. Mm. Yeah. 
See if I can do her aerial the, throw. Uh, the supers don't do a yes. ton of damage. <laughs> I love that throw. Just her normal throw in air. Awesome. Dang. Down she goes. <laughs> I love that victory dance. Huh? I made that joke. So, Lab 8's ultimate weapon finally arrives. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry. I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skullgirl. And you let her right to us! As though I'd explain myself to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that's what we did. Really think I'm, let you I'm detecting a plot twist coming up. I don't think you have a choice. I'll admit you were almost an interesting opponent, but infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness, you're nothing more than garbage. Yeah, that's brutal, Valentine. It's time Lab 8's final experiment came to an end. <laughs> we're gonna murder her. <laughs> Sec. Now's the moment. Yeah. It's time to pull out all the stops and fight this hot nurse. Yeah. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh that was, was that a guitar? It's like a banjo. Oh. <laughs> oh that was a Charlie Brown reference. <laughs> I do like that grab. Unfortunately, you're... Wow. That's a JoJo's reference. Is it? Yeah, because Dio drops a steamroller as his final. That's cool. <laughs> Put her in a bag and kick her. Oh, she switched out to double. Double terrifies me. Make her die. I really do hate double. She makes me all kinds of uncomfortable. Oh, uh, when she was first teased, Mike Z, the other like co-creator of this game, yeah. he, was afraid, he said she was like Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. She was scary beyond all reason. <laughs> I agree. Heck, I'll take Yzma any day over this. He said as a, like a kid, Yzma scared him. Because the guys who created this game, like most indie developers, are like young guys. Yeah. They're like Alex Aha is like not so much older than us. Like, oh yeah. Like, early twenties. That's cool. It's actually cool how this story happened was Alex Aha created all these characters individually for like a comic and Mike Z who had programming experience like they became friends and yeah. they used them in the game. That's cool. There's a lot of cool like history to this game. Like all the behind the scenes stuff that went on. Oh yeah. I often feel like indie games like have a more interesting story than like a lot of the AAA games. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can... Well, usually more, more personal work went into it. You sure are. I almost called her Parasol. Parasol. Peacock. Peacock Soul. Uh, let's see if we can move this like faster. No? Nah, I don't think nope. so. Alright, for the third time, it's the Skull Girl. Not dramatic. quite as thrilling as the first time. Woo. But now they're going to have some banter because apparently they know each other. Patricia, you should Ooh. not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. <laughs> she looks so proud of that. It's the guy from her nightmare. From the slave traders of Ramograd to their patrons, the Medicis, all must perish. They're like slaves, mm, Patricia and Maria. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. It must be I just realized her body is like ribs. Yeah, she's like I skeletal. Realize, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't realize that's all right now. You know, like friends do. Zach, if you ever had the skull heart in you, I would beat you up, rip you up, and... You have to be a girl, though. Oh. 
So none of the uh, male characters can get access to the skull heart? They uh, can't wish on it. Oh. Uh, oh, two of them. There's only two males, right? Yeah, playable. Beowulf and uh, Big Man. Both of which end up not wishing on it because they can't. Peacock actually had the easiest time. It's time for the fight that you've seen three times before. Well, technically, you've seen everything three times before. Laser! Yeah, that's how it's done. Peacock, I have the easiest time beating the Skull Girl. It seems like you can hit a lot of her projectiles and stuff. You can stay away from her. Oh, she made skeletons pop out. Not skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Oh, wow, he just did quite a bit of damage with that one. That's so you had a crow came out for a second. Is it a broom? Oh, she's a maid. Yeah. Oh, it's a vacuum! That's what it is. Oh. Ooh, you better get offensive there, dude. I hate how she can, like, ragdoll you with that shit. Make her dead. Make her dead, man. Make her dead. You gotta make the death happen. The death needs to be. And not yours. Ooh. <laughs> and she takes damage so, so little. Oh, oh come on, dude. Oh. That would have sucked if you lost to her on an empty life bar. Yeah. Or have you ever had that happen in a game where you kill a boss the moment they kill you? Yeah, but in this game, if you do that, it counts as you win. That's nice. This is a cool, her ending is cool. That's right, Peacock. You're a strong, independent woman that don't need no man. Ooh. Foolish child. Do you really think this is over? So Peacock actually did a virtuous thing. Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that she day. She looks rough. You stood up for us, and I ran. When I found the Skull Heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. We're good. You'll always be my friend. Got it? That makes me happy. And dead. Tell you what. I love this. I'll pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, saved the day, and it's rerun season, I don't have much to do. Why not? And bloodying those mafia fools sounds like a hoot. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Thank you, Patricia. It was good seeing you. Yeah. One last... You look a little rough there, Marie. This is the Peacock ending. I love this. It's going to show the dawn of the Medici Mafia, Lorenzo. Black Dahlia. She, I wish she was a playable character. Oh, she's cool. Is Black Dahlia supposed to be an older woman? Yeah, I huh. think so. Oh, damn. What do you think? Ooh, it's ambiguous. Yes. As many fighting games are. Cool, that's another story mode down. Yes. And we will see you for more exciting stories next time on Role Playing Games. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Like, comment, beep, 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 and subscribe. Beep, beep, beep.